that could begin to challenge other organizations, corporate South Africa, to begin to say, we as South Africans, we as Africans, we have got a role to play in finding each other and live in a, in a country or in a continent that we all look at each other as human beings. Thank you so much, Mr. for the contribution. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank uh, the Black Management Forum for building the house for me and everybody who's contributed to this uh, building of this house. But it doesn't mean that um, my husband will come back. But I'm just grateful that, that at least I have shelter for me and my children. And I wish I could live in this house with my husband. No, unfortunately, when it happened, I was here in Mozambique. And I wish I was there in South Africa. At least I could have said goodbye to my husband. When I heard the news, I never thought it was my husband. I, I always prayed and I thought they would phone again to say, no, it wasn't my husband. I was crying, I was devastated. Each and every day I still cry. I still feel one day you'll just show up and say it wasn't him that died. He left me with three children, two boys and one girl. All my children are in school. The first one is in standard nine, the second one is in grade five, and the third one is in grade two. I just want to say thank you to everybody that left what they were doing, that left South Africa to come and visit this remote area of Mozambique called Fuka, at least to come and assist my family. I'm so grateful for their house. I'm so grateful for the effort and the time you guys have spent to come to this place here in Mozambique. May God bless you. I just want to say thank you to the government of Mozambique for allowing the student from South Africa to come over to Mozambique to help the family. What the student has done here has been a great inspiration to the whole community. Ernesto went to South Africa in order to better the life of his family. That is what inspired the student to try and fulfill the dream of Ernesto. He didn't go to South Africa for fun. He went with the intention of creating a better life and future for his family. He couldn't succeed in fulfilling his dream, but this student, in conjunction with the Black Management Forum, has fulfilled it for him. When Ernesto left for South Africa, nobody knows this will happen to him. We all thought he will come back home to his family in good health. This house is a legacy. The student has built it with good intention. I wish that the family that will live in this house will maintain the legacy. We appreciate the government of Mozambique for approving this project for the student. The student wouldn't have been able to do anything without the approval of the government. So on behalf of the community, we really thank the government. I also want to thank the family of Ernesto for accepting the widow into the family. She has been staying with the family ever since the passing away of her husband. Other families would have thrown her out because they would think she has bad luck, but this family has supported her with the children. The art of giving is a divine natural gift, the gift of the Givers Foundation left for VUCA, a remote town in Mozambique, 
with the intention to deliver household furniture and appliances to the family of the xenophobic victim, Ernesto Alfabeto Namuari. In addition, a truckload of food parcels for about 2,000 villagers was also prepared for distribution, including a feeding scheme. Uh, I understand there's a problem, a slight pro problem with the gift of the giver's truck. What was in the truck? Uh, well, inside the truck we have uh, quite a few, barely 250,000 rands of goods, food, blankets, some clothing for the community, 500 shoes, 500 clothing packs, 250 food parcels, and, yeah, and some goods for the family of ours. I understand you're also going to finish the house? Yes, we bought a double bed, a double bunk, um, some uh, kitchenware, some uh, houseware and so on. All right, so with these customs problems, what's going to happen now? Um, apparently, we, we received by, they said that on Monday we will have the stamp, so the truck will be cleared. And hopefully by then, when it's clear, the truck will be coming through. Due to complications at the risano Garcia border of Mozambique, the truck was stuck for six days and could not cross over to deliver the food parcels for the 2,000 expectants. The foundation deemed it fit not to return the parcels back to Johannesburg, but instead the parcels were diverted to Bombela Stadium in Pumalanga, where more than 2,000 villagers benefited from these largesse. Unfortunately, this, all this goods was meant for Mozambique. But because of a small, maybe a small paper we could not uh, um, produce, all this thing had to come over the border. And we, because we have a, a MOU signed with, with Pumalanga, we thought it's best that it comes here. 50% of the things got spoiled because of the heat. Our, our truck stood for six days and our butter, lots of food got damaged. What you see here, it was double this amount. So unfortunately, we brought it here and uh, God knows that these people are benefiting. Today. This was meant for Mozambique. Of course, uh, you know, the people of uh, Mozambique, it's not their fault. It's not the people's fault uh, if, the, uh, if uh, certain laws, the civil servants, if, if it's their fault, we cannot blame the poor people. So we have to deliver. So, and uh, we are used to it. In, uh, Dr. Intia Suleiman, when he went all over the world, we do have difficulties. But we work within the government, and we need to sign an MOU with the president of Mozambique to say that whenever gift of givers comes, we go over the border, we feed, and we come back. That's the same thing we're doing with Zimbabwe. We're having an MOU, a, a, a memorandum of agreement, that we can, whenever we there's a disaster or, or, or shortage of food, gift of givers needs to go there because we represent Africa. Okay, from here what we're planning to do is uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, Zimbabwe, we've got a big plan uh, with medical goods, with food, so uh, by next month we will go to Zimbabwe. Once again, the gift of the Givers Foundation has been able to extend its helping hand to the needy as their belief is best among people are those that benefit mankind.
Africa, Africa. I've been speaking to you all the way from VUCA here in Mozambique. This has been done for Africans by Africans. When you click into Africa, this is what you get. Send in those emails to clickafrica at brandmesa.com. I'm Josie Mahachi signing out.